Hello, David Zritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. You know, I think I know you by now. We've been together for quite a bit. And when you think of James Bond footwear, you probably think of, I don't know, something like this, right? Um, you know, beautiful leather wrapped around the foot, maybe paired with an incredible tuxedo or a beautiful tailored suit. Yeah, that's what you think of when you think of footwear. What I don't think you think about is James Bond in sandals. But just stay with me. Don't, don't move on to the next video. Let me give my defense because, like it or not, James Bond has worn sandals. Yes, the character has worn sandals. And we're going to explore that today. But first of all, let's talk about your mindset, all right? The reason why you're, you're wincing a little bit when I mention the word sandals paired with James Bond is you're thinking about, I don't know, maybe something like this? Maybe, right? Going way, way back when? Or maybe you're, you're thinking about something like this. Yeah, not, not very cool, right? Dad from the 60s, black sock, not so much. Probably a lot of you are wincing because when you think of sandals and you think about showing your feet in your clothing out to the public, you're, you're imagining this. Ooh, yeah, that. And that's probably what's making you run for the bathroom, churn your stomach. And to be honest, I can, I can smell that from over here. And it's just a superimposed picture. That's how bad it is. But I want to take a step back and really talk about the sandals of James Bond and give it a bit of a defense because I'm just going to raise my hand right now. I wear sandals and have for some time. And it wasn't always because of Bond. I find them very practical. I find them very cooling. I find during the summer, especially in the right situation, and we're going to talk about that, sandals are perfect. All right. Probably some of you observant people out there noticed that I walked right by this wonderful display from Thunderbolt, and I happened to be wearing an outfit from Thunderball. Yeah, I've got the striped shirt, I've got the light pants, and many of you even saw that I am wearing, perish the thought, sandals. Now, let's hearken back to where we see Bond wearing sandals in Thunderball. You know the scene. Yeah, he heads to Palmyra. He's going to be meeting with Largo. He sees Domino, and he's wearing this outfit that so many of us have replicated and emulated, and Sean Connery, who for many people, arguably, is the quintessential James Bond, is wearing sandals. He is. You can't deny it. Now, the sandals that he wears in this scene are different than the one I have on right now, but it's the first time Bond wears a pair of sandals. It's brown leather. It has three straps. It has that toe strap, a midfoot strap, a heel strap. Uh, straps over the toe and midfoot are adjustable, clearly, and... It's pretty amazing. Now let's harken back to the fact that Bond is got to look like his surroundings. You know, gone are the days, I think, when he's wearing a tuxedo in the middle of incredibly hot weather. No, he has to dress in something like this, either a seersucker or a linen, a light cotton fabric. He's got the light cotton or sea island cotton, even better, slacks and he has the sandal. So who out there is brave enough to argue with the Sean Connery version of James Bond in this? And what's great is there are companies out there, take a look at this one, that make an almost exact replica today. I'm, in fact, I'm going to get me a pair of those for sure, because these are the types of things that we have to explore. Now, for some of you that are still heaving out there and saying, yeah, sandals, I'm just, I'm not getting it, David. Don't panic. Let me show you something that helps the sandal, as I call it, situation. Just need to borrow these for a second. It's for a good cause, trust me. So I realize that when we wear sandals, despite the different types that we can wear, which we're going to get into in a second, it tends to make the outfit very casual. And many of you fundamentally feel that, well, sandals are best for the bathroom, but that's something else, or for the beach at the most. But let me tell you how to kind of dress it up. First of all, 
a good pair of sunglasses. Now he wears the Korean Paxtons that you see right here in Thunderbolt. Just took this right out of the display. And you can see that it tends to finish off the look. It makes it a little bit more buttoned up. The other thing is a good watch. A good watch, he obviously didn't wear an Omega. He wore the Brett Ling, uh, but I don't have one of those. So we're gonna show you this. A good watch will dressy up, it'll bring up, it'll elevate the sartorial style of what you're looking to do. And so when you have a casual outfit, but you have these accessories that stand out, it brings everything up, it lifts it, all ships rise. Yes, even the persona of the sandals. It's worth taking a pause to remember something very simple that we like to say on this show, and that is, despite your surroundings and what you're wearing, you're not James Bond, I'm not James Bond. So always get a sandal that's personalized, that fits your lifestyle, that fits your preference. So for example, I walked in on these, not accurate, but I like them because they're simple. Look how flat they get. They've got only one foot strap. They've got one toe strap, nice handmade leather sandals. They're fantastic. A lot of foot is shown though. So for many of you, you don't want that much foot shown. You want a little bit more covered and maybe, maybe you don't even want this brown color. Well, these sandals are from Jerusalem Sandals. They are also handmade. They've got a really nice, subtle look to them. I like the color. It's kind of this, uh, I don't know, mustard caramel color. I don't know colors, but I do like this. It's got the adjustable buckle on here. It's easy to slip in, kind of move your feet. It does a cover. It does cover more of your foot and they still have a rather bond look to them. But for those of you, and I get it, that are like David, I am not going to show my toenails in public. I'm not going to show my feet in public unless I'm by the pool. I'm not going to walk around in clothes with sandals on. I have a compromise. I have a middle ground for you. And these are my favorite sandals that I own, hands down. So these, ladies and gentlemen, members of the jury, are born sandals. They are unbelievably comfortable. These particular ones that I own, they've been a staple in their seasons and lives for many years. Why? Because they're for people like you probably that say, I can't do a sandal, but look at this. It does show obviously some skin when you wear that, but not a ton. It's got, first of all, from a protection standpoint, it's got closed toes. Okay, very important. But the beds, the beds, the foot beds as they like to call it, are so comfortable, they're tempur And so they give, you can walk, I can walk and have walked around international cities all day long with these. Um, the soles are incredibly comfortable, they give, they've got kind of like a vibram essence to them, but you can see that they're still very, what I would call traditional. You know, they don't have Velcro, right? They don't have crazy colors. It's a nice brown leather with a, a, an antiqued buckle. So it is subtle enough that it passes the bond test. But if you are a little bit more of a traditionalist, this might be the middle ground for you. Where's Fekish? I shan't ask again. Yes. Diamonds are forever, forever. So we're back and it's still Sean Connery. He is the sandal man, but you know, he's wearing sandals very similar to what we see in Thunderball. I mean, I don't think they're the same ones, but they're very similar. And here's something very interesting. Check out the scene and you'll notice that the way they have it cut, you don't really know that he's wearing sandals. So how do we conclude that he's wearing sandals if we don't see them? And even in some of the making of, you, you see him kneeling by the actress, but he's got bare feet on. So we know this because we've seen some behind the scenes shots of when he is walking around and he's wearing those strappy buckle sandals. So sandals again for James Bond in Diamonds Are Forever. But this is just a quick stop. It's just a quick stop because let's face it, we've, we've, we've got to go someplace where you really see some sandal action. And it kind of makes perfect sense that you would because this place, they, they kind of gravitate towards sandals. Let's take a look.
So one of the greatest defenses for Sandals and James Bond has got to be You Only Live Twice when he goes to Japan. And why? Because, well, he not only wears the sandals once, he wears them twice. Let me explain. At one point, Bond is in a very casual linen top short sleeve. I think you know the pictures in the scene. He's wearing fawn colored pants and he's wearing sandals, very simple strapped sandals. Well, the same sandals are worn in the scene when he's wearing this outfit, the very traditional gray slacks with the pink shirt here. All right, same sandals. Clearly, Bond is embracing the culture. Let's take a step back for a second. You've got this English gentleman in a far off country, Japan, and he's acclimating. So what does he do? Does he does he go full forward and accept everything? No, he initially does something small like wear sandals as part of embracing the culture. He also knows and probably does that they're very comfortable and it's hot out. You probably can't go full decked out in closed toed shoes. Now, I will step back and say for a moment that open toed sandals like he has is probably not the best idea in a firing range. No, that's that's uh, not a good idea at all. And even closed toed sandals would not be the recommended of choice of being in a firing range, but there it is. And in this case, his sandals have a very simple back strap, has a strap over the arch and a strap over the foot, and it just fits the bill. To me, this has become an iconic outfit with the sandals below, the trousers, the wool trousers, and the pink shirt. To me, it really screams a moment from You Only Live Twice. And so, You've got two defenses coming out of this movie. We're not done yet. No, not by a long shot. So I'm standing here in front of the No Time to Die display. And why? We're here talking about sandals. Well, when Bond is retired and he dons his Sunspell t-shirt like this, he's got his Varney sunglasses, he's got his Omega watch, and he's out in the beautiful Jamaica sun. He's having a great time. Well, He's wearing, hate to break it to you, naysayers, he's wearing sandals. Now, I get it, they're flip-flops, but they're still considered sandals. There's a question mark with these. Now, we know that these are the right ones, the Javianas. They're great. I've actually worn these in Jamaica. These have seen Jamaica sand, just like Bond. Go figure. But one of the things that I do want to make mention is, is that we only have some behind-the-scenes shots. So... Perhaps Bond is barefoot, but Daniel Craig, the actor, put these on in between scenes. So he may not actually wear these in the movie. We've got great shots. These are the right color, the right blend. You got to, you know, I could only get this over in Europe. Thank you, my friends over in Europe who helped me with this. But the reality is, is that we aren't 100% sure because I don't know if you heard, as of uh, this recording, we haven't seen the movie. So we've got some of the parts and pieces, but you know what? We're still going to count it because otherwise, you know when the only time we saw flip-flops and sandals and James Bond before the Thunderball example? Dr. No. Do you remember the scene? He's in his very, very fluffy Terry robe and they both put on, Ursula Andres and Sean Connery put on flip-flops. They're very plain. You could buy them at the grocery store. You could buy them at the pharmacy. They're very simple, but they do put on what we affectionately call over here flip-flops. Some people call them thongs, although that's a different thing. Wedgie, anybody? Table of one? So, no, Bond, hopefully, I think, wears these. So, for those of you naysayers out there, I give you, I don't know, what are we up to, like seven? How convenient. Seven defenses of Sandals and James Bond. What's that? I'm sorry, the, oh, the literary bond people out there. I, I have something for you. Yeah, because we didn't forget about you. You see, in both Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, and Casino Royale, you know who also put James Bond in sandals? I don't know, some, some writer we may be familiar with called Ian Fleming? 
Yes, Ian Fleming writes pretty specifically about Bond wearing black, not brown, black leather sandals. Uh, he even goes into how some of them are stitched and the coloring and you know what he pairs it with and the sea island and the trousers and the the uh, the tropical wool he goes into like we love when he does he goes into the lifestyle aspect in very specific detail so we've got evidence of bond wearing sandals in the books okay let's take a tally shall we ladies and gentlemen members of the jury dun, dun, dun. is this thing on well we've got movies We've got franchises. We've got one of the most badass James Bond, Sean Connery. The movies that kind of set the tone of all the other movies, he is wearing sandals. And we have it in the literary section, and we probably have it in the new movie. So why would you be so reticent to wear sandals? Give it a try. I think you're going to find it very cooling, very relaxing, and once you get into the habit of wearing sandals, putting it out there into your lifestyle, I think that you're going to find that Bond made a lot of good choices. There's my defense of sandals. Thanks for joining us. This has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. It's warm. I'm in a t-shirt. I'm going to go put on sandals. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.